All right, so I'm sure, I'm sure you're probably wondering, why do you have a door in your garage, just randomly? You see, what happened was, I bought this door, and then I built this frame for this door live on Twitch with the help of my Twitch chat. So if you don't follow me on Twitch, then you're missing out on beautiful creations like this. The link for that is in the description below. We built this door, we, or we built this door frame, and it's, it's nice and square. It's built to code. I followed all of the OSHA safety guidelines. We did all that, and now we have this beautiful door frame. And even, check this out. You like that? Let's do it one more time. See how beautiful that closes? I'm really proud of that because to get this door to close like that took like two hours. So the reason that we're here is because I've been seeing all of these commercials for like all of these like add a lock type of devices or like so just security, like security add-ons that you can add to a door to make it more secure. So what we're gonna do is I have like maybe seven of them, I think, and we're gonna add them all to this door and then just one by one, I'm gonna kick the door down and prove that these things don't really add that much security or I'm going to not be able to kick the door down and, I, and then I'll make a fool out of myself proving that they do add a lot of security. So I guess we'll see which one happens. The first one that we're gonna be doing is just a, just a classic door chain. We're just gonna see how much more secure a door is with this, just a door chain. All right, first thing about this stuff that I wanna mention is that all of these devices, I'm gonna be mounting them all with the hardware that is included. So some of, some of the hardware that's included with these things is, is very small and not really what I would use, but I'm installing them all exactly the way they come. So this is the first fault of at least this door chain. I don't know if all of them are this way, but you don't have to kick down the door to get past it. All you have to do Voila, <laughs> just reach your hand around and just bypass it. And I don't know how you would really get around that because I have it mount this thing mounted up and down, which is the way that it was showed in the picture. But if you were to mount this thing, to get this thing far enough away that, to get it far enough away so that the door chain would be like stretched out far enough that you wouldn't be able to just reach your hand through here and slide it over, you would have to mount it so far over that if this door was mounted into a regular house and not on a freestanding frame, that this thing right here would have to be mounted into drywall, which is gonna be way weaker than two by fours. So this thing kind of sucks from the get go, but we'll give it the benefit, benefit of doubt. We'll say that it's mounted into two by fours. We'll slide it right there. We'll try to break, get past it. I don't think that it's gonna be very tough. I am a, I'm a bad guy and I'm trying to get into the house. Let's see. Oh no, there's a door chain. Whatever will I do? <laughs> wow, that, that was, I actually put too much force behind that. That thing like swung right open. Luckily it came in a pack of two. So this little piece just like, just completely broke off. Like the, you can see the piece that broke off, the little like riveted piece just kind of snapped right off with almost no force. So door chains, they're not really gonna help you, especially this one. And again, with this stuff, I just bought just like whatever was the top, whatever was like the high, highest reviewed on Amazon, which I'm assuming they didn't really test it. I thought that this was gonna be more of a challenge. Let's move on. All right, next one we're gonna be testing is one of these doodads that you see on like, a, I think I've seen these on like a lot of uh, hotel rooms. They kind of slide in here and then you, you know, can't do it. What stands out with this one from all the other ones that I've seen is that this one actually comes with like real screws. Most of the screws that come with these stuff is like very, very small, but this is actually a, a really nice screw. So I kind of have high hopes for this one. All right, we all know how, the, how these locks work. Just slide it over and then supposedly, I lock the door. I think I broke. Oh, no, no. Okay. Anyway. Ooh. Now we can't get in. We can't slide this thing over. Let's see how hard it is to get in. Oh no. My door has a lock on it. I can't get in. Whatever will I do? Oh, that. <laughs> 
That's already more than the chain. Okay, maybe we'll have to kick it. Oh, all right. Really? Maybe we'll go for the backwards kick. I had these things in, in order from like which one I thought was going to be the hardest to the, to the easiest. And this was second on the list, obviously. I thought I'd blow right through this thing. Now right, let's start stepping up the kicks. I'll move the whole frame. All right. That kind of hurts. I'm not going to lie. Oh. This thing is getting pretty loose. I bet if I just gave it a, a few, like maybe 10, like medium shoves, I bet we can get in. It's definitely, definitely getting weak, 100%. Look at that. Five more kicks we're in. A good one. Jeez. Let's go with the backwards kick. Are you kidding me? This was second on my list. Alright, let's uh let's put some more weight behind it. Are you kidding me? I hear something break? Oh, look at it. Ooh, that top pin broke. One swing away, probably. It's only got one pin. Let's go. Jeez, oh, this thing, 10 out of 10. I think the angle might have just got right or something. Yeah, the, the angle must have just got right. So, this thing right here, 10 out of 10. All right, our next device is gonna be this. This is called the Add-A Lock. And I will say that this device isn't gonna work for everybody because there's literally not a single door in my house that this thing actually fits on. This door is the only one that this thing will actually fit into. Either the hole where the striker goes through isn't big enough for these tabs to go through, or the clearance between the door and the frame is too tight to fit this in there. I don't know how many people this will work for, but we'll see how strong it is. I mean, this is literally just plastic with a little metal piece in there. I think maybe one good push and this thing is just gonna break. You slide this in here. Once this is inside the door, you take this piece, which goes here, and then it just kind of wedges itself down there, a wedge, so that way you can't open the door. One good shove and we should be through. Oh, the door appears to be locked. <laughs> the, the device itself actually didn't break. Oh, the door frame cracked. I guess where the door frame cracked, it'll give it enough wiggle room to kind of get out of there. Oh yeah. This thing sucks even worse than I thought. Not only can you like not really use it on hardly any doors, as soon as the door frame cracks, which is not very hard, then it just falls off. One out of 10, maybe it might stop somebody from pushing a little too hard, but other than that, trash. All right, next up we have just a classic little slide lock. Like in my head, I look at this and I go, you know, this is cheap metal, it's real thin, probably get through this, no problem. But I also thought that about that, about the one that had the hook on it. So we'll see. All right, before I start kicking this one down, I'm gonna make a prediction that I think that the screws are gonna be the failure point of this one because the screws that came with this thing, very small and they look very weak. Oh, there's already a little bit of wiggle room in there. Oh, look at that, Things already kinda wiggling around. Let's go for the old donkey kick technique. Oh, it's already bending. Oh, we're in good shape. Three more kicks and we're in. No problem. 
Oh yeah, look at that. One more kick and we are in. No problem. Oh, look at that. So for this one, not only did this piece on the door frame bend out, the solid metal bar just bent in. That's not what I would have expected. I thought this uh, bar right here would have been way stronger than that. Definitely don't use these little cheap latches. Those things suck. Next up, we have what is called a privacy hook. Now, you can see this hook is pretty beefy and it's pretty big. Um, but I think the failure point of this, if I had to guess, you can see how big that hook is. I th would guess that the failure point is going to be right in these little tiny spot welds that hold these two things together. So hopefully those two spot welds will just kind of break away and I won't have to kick my leg off. All right, so this one is more of how the door chain should be, where I can push on the door and it does have a little bit of slack, but I, there's not enough room for me to get my hand in here to actually like flip up the hook. But if someone was to have a thin piece of metal, you could easily just come right through and then here you are. But we are gonna pretend like I don't have a thin piece of metal. Throw a couple of donkey kicks at it. We should be good to go. How many kicks is it gonna take? Oh, that felt good. Ooh, it's pulling the screws out of the door. Maybe it's not gonna be the welds. Maybe it's gonna be the screws. The screws that this thing came with suck. They're very small. No. Oh. Alright, let me put one full power kick into it. Come on, I thought that was the one. Oh, well, that felt real good, actually. Oh, we're getting close. It's really, it's just barely hanging on there. Oh, come on. We're almost there. There we go. Screws ripped out. You can see how tiny those screws are. I want to call it quits, but the device itself didn't fail. The screws just pulled out. I mean, if you were to buy this, you're going to install it with the screws that came with it. It's the 4th of July. All right, so what we'll do is we'll do some of the other stuff. And then if the door, we have enough of a door left after all of that, we might revisit this and see if we can break these spot welds. All right, so this next one is a little bit different. This one actually mount, screws into the door frame on the inside, and then you shut the door, and it has this little piece that you shut the door, and then this just kind of, if I can, uh, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it latches over, and then that keeps the door shut, and then whenever you want the door unlocked, you just pull it back, and it slides over and the door can be unlocked. If this was mounted inside of your, your house, it wouldn't be quite as tight of a fit. I think this one's gonna be very, very tough to get past. So much so that I'm only gonna kick it maybe like five or six times, and then I'm just gonna start using the sledgehammer because I, I really don't think that kicking this or pushing it or anything is gonna do, it's gonna do too much. I have to hold on to the door handle because it keeps the door closed so tightly. Give it a good No, what? Did it just bend past it? Because it's bent. Would you look at that? Now is it easy to get past? I thought that was going to be really, really hard. So it looks like this one does, does have a really big flaw. I looked at this. This is one of the ones I looked at. And I was like, I was like, there's no, not that there's no way you can get past it, but I, I looked at it and I thought, that's a really, really good idea. And this is probably going to be extremely hard to get past. I did not think that just like a couple kicks and it would just bend out of the way. So I don't have any more things that require the door frame to be intact. So now we can test the locks that actually just naturally come with the door, which is the doorknob and the deadbolt. Of course, the doorknob lock, that's nothing. Um, this deadbolt, you can see, is kind of reinforced. 
I don't know. It's just a little bit of door frame that has to be broke before the doors open. One part of me thinks that the deadbolt is going to be the hardest one, and then another part of me thinks that it's really just not going to be that bad. Maybe three kicks. Let's see. Oh, that's that's in there. Uh, never mind. Literally one kick, and the front, the door frame is already split all the way up the side. Is this going to be a two kick, and then we're in? Whoa, I guess, I guess I put a little bit too much power in that one. That ripped off the whole door frame. That means that if your door has one of the, the locks that was like this, the one that I had to get the sledgehammer out for, this, that means this lock is more secure than your deadbolt and your doorknob put together. I'm, so, I'm, like, I'm, I'm shocked that, the, that it took that little effort to break through the, the deadbolt and the regular doorknob lock. I guess your standard door just uh, isn't as secure as I thought. All right, so this next one that we have is called the Door Jammer. And I, just by the look of it, I don't have very high hopes for this one. But the basic premise is, here's your door. You're supposed to slide this under your door. And then you take this and tighten this down. And this jams the door, or just this piece jams against the floor. It's supposed to act like a door stop so that you can't open the door. I mean, just holding this, feeling it, and looking at the design, I have very low hopes for this thing, but we'll see. Also, we're gonna have to use this on a real door because, you know, the door frame, the way this thing works, it's just gonna pick the door frame up and it's not gonna work. So, we're gonna come down here. Hopefully you can see, because the angle is really, really bad. But we're gonna shove this underneath the door right there and then we're gonna tighten this thing down pretty much as tight as I can get it I think that's uh, the best way to go it's gonna pull on the door all right really <laughs> that was almost as easy as the door chain that's just like a couple shoves and it's and it's open let me, let me try that again. Maybe I didn't have it set up right. Let's shove this real, real tight in there. All right, so this thing is as close as it can be without hitting, without hitting this piece. So on top of this thing not really working, not to mention this would be obnoxious to have to do every single night or every single time you want to lock the door. All right, that's as tight as we can get it. All right, about three good pulls. Not even three, more like two. Yeah, this thing, uh, <laughs> if, uh, if I was choosing some type of door security, yeah, this is gonna be the last thing on my list. This thing really, really, really sucks. I don't know what the problem is. I think the, the problem is the entire device. It's a combination of this thing sliding on the ground, but it's also a combination of the way this works and the angle that it is it can't really get a good grip. Yeah, this is like a zero out of 10. All right, last but not least, we have the door pole. Very straightforward. This one goes, has a little hook, goes right underneath the door handle. You put it under there, put it down, and we're gonna make sure it's real nice and secure down there. And then I'll go outside, see if we can get in. Door pole, I don't think this is gonna be any challenge. I think one good, one good push and we're in. Oh no, the door is locked. Whatever will I do? Really? So this, this little button right here, slides into the pole. And that's how you get uh, like your height adjustment. That button, got pushed down and then slid inside the pole. And then it, you know, so then it, this thing just collapsed and it was completely deactivated, I guess you could say. I'm gonna reset this and we'll see if that happens again. If that happens repetitively, then that's, that's a big problem. Oh, there she is, locked again. That time the button didn't even break. So th this button right here, this is, this is the failure point. I'm gonna do it again, just to be sure. But this, but this button, I think this button is really, really weak. 
All right, let's just give it a, a strong shove. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too powerful. Maybe this could stop like the average man, but this thing's not stopping me. We did it with the buttons, with this thing for the front and the back. Let's move it to the side and see if maybe, see if maybe that makes a difference. So I guess we'll just turn this thing this way. Oh, you can't, you can't do it with the buttons to the side. This thing only has a hole one way. So you can either go, and it has a hole here. So you have to either go this way or this way, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go this way and we'll just forget about this pin. Can it withstand more than one push? Sideways is a little bit stronger. Well, not really. And you guessed it, same story. The button failed, trash. All right, so I said that after we tested everything else, we would come back to our little privacy hook here since it ripped out of the door and the device itself didn't actually fail. I put four, four inch wood screws in it this time and they're actually sticking out of the back side of the door. So we're just gonna go right for the sledgehammer and just beat our way through here and see if the device itself will fail or if we'll just rip the screws out again. I never thought that this would be my job. I think the screws are gonna pull out again. This device with the right screws might be the strongest one that we've tested. Oh, what happened? Screws pull out? It just, <laughs> the hook just popped off. All right. See this plate is bending? I thought the weld would have broke, but not the plate. Maybe we'll go for the traditional swing. Oh, what happened? I'm gonna give it five more swings. One. All right, here's the last one. Gotta give it my all. The wood is falling off the inside of the door. I think it is safe to say that with the right screws, the screws are gonna pull out of whatever they're put into long before the, this thing, the long before the privacy hook was gonna fail. I'm really impressed. I thought those spot welds would've just, just snapped like that. Not even close. That thing is extremely strong. All right, well, it looks like um, all these devices that you add to a door to make it more secure, seems like a lot of them don't really do much of anything. If you're gonna, if you need to add an extra lock to a door, make it one of these or make it one of these privacy hooks with the right screws. And even the privacy hooks, since it can be you know bypassed with just like a thin piece of metal flipping the hook up, I wouldn't even recommend that. This right here is the only type, is the only thing that I would recommend. I will have a link for this uh, in the comments and in the description so you can check these out on Amazon. Especially the door chain, the very first one we tested, and the this bar right here. Like, did I make it testing these makes me wonder, like, is there anybody in a factory that's like testing these and seeing like, do our products even work? A 12-year-old that's strong enough could easily break this door chain. The pole itself might be strong, but it's only gonna be as strong as its weakest link, which is this little button. So is there like no quality testing on this button? Like no, they just pass this thing through a factory and go, yep, it's good. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any other door locks that, or any other type of security devices that you wanna see me test, leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.